hello everybody how are you thank you so much for coming in if you are joining us today probably you have been watching episode one and you're coming back for episode two or you are a returning subscriber or this is your first time to be checking in our videos i welcome you everybody so if you have um not checked episode one if you're just checking in for the first time please go back and check for episode number one where we are helping you with an easy method to be teaching reading to your four to eight years kids so if you have been practicing episode number one by uh the end of six weeks or by end of the first group of letters probably your kids will be able to be reading short phrases like pet snips a pin a tin stand sits Pips, sits, tips, naps, and spin, and spin in a pan or in a tin, and sits, and, and snap, tips, sits in a pit. So, by end of the first group, there are some words that I showed you, that I shared with you, where which your kids will be able to be reading in some short phrases that I've just said um, just now. So, we are in... Um, after six weeks, we are done with our words. The seventh week, we are doing our revision. And the eighth week now, we are coming back with the second group of the words. So we say we are going to be grouping our letters in smaller groups of seven. Then we'll be having, that's why we are doing in series. So today I'm here to be sharing with you the second group of the words that we are going to do. So it's a Monday, it's a new day. And guess what? We start with the alphabet. So for the benefit of those that are joining us for the first time, I'm going to be sharing with you how we sound the alphabet. Before I go in, subscribe guys. Share to somebody that might be benefiting from this. Share to your friends. Share to some nannies out there, to some teachers out there, to school owners out there, and to parents out there that might benefit from this video. Subscribe, share, click the notification bell so that the moment that I, uh, that I upload a video, you'll be the first one to know, you'll be notified. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how we sound the alphabet first. So, e, b, k, d, e, f, g, e, J, K, E, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, A, V, Q, X, E, Z. Good job. So now we are going into the first card of the week or of the day if you're doing this one per day. So the first sound that you are going to be doing, we are going to start with the story first. So you go in and say, hi guys, how are you? How was your weekend? How, what were you doing? How did you spend your weekend? And you say, okay, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was mommy and mommy was busy preparing for dinner in her kitchen. So the little girl, Maria, came into the kitchen and said, mommy, can I help you? Mommy said, no, you are too young. You cannot help me with anything. But she insisted. So mommy gave her a knife and a carrot. And she asked her to, be, to cut the carrots. So as she was cutting the carrots, mommy had a funny sound like k, k, k. She wondered where the sound was coming from. She listened again and she heard She looked at Maria and she saw that Maria was busy biting the carrot. And she said, no, my child, you said you wanted to cut, but now you are eating. Okay, it's fine. The carrots are good for your eyes. You can eat. So he, she went on and cut the carrots and mommy prepared a delicious meal for the family. Everyone was happy with the meal that's the end of the story so now you come back you start asking questions who was cutting the carrots what was mommy doing and any other questions that you might be thinking of that's it for that day you come in with some work cards now and after telling them the story this is the k that we are talking about 
we call this one Kelly K. So you give them some worksheets that has something to do with this Kelly K. The action for this Kelly K will be K, 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 as if you are clipping something, as if you are biting. K, K. So that's our action for Kelly K. You will see why we call this one Kelly K. Fine. So now you're giving them joining the doors. You're giving them any uh, exercises that you might give them basing on the Kelly K. And that's it for the whole week. Next week, we are going in. We are going to be telling them another story of the next letter that we are going to do. So the next letter that we are going to do is kicking K. So this kicking K, you come up with your own story, but the sound has to be K again but this time the action is kicking so you move your leg as if you are kicking a ball to make the sound kicking you give them some worksheets that has something to do with kicking that's it for the day for the day for the week so now when you are now making some words now there is going to be a confusion between kicking and kelly so this is a tip that you can use for your, for your kids. So you say these are twins, but these, sorry, these are brothers, but these brothers, they share the same bed. So this one is younger and this one is older. So because this one is younger, whenever he sleeps at the age of the bird, he falls. But this one, because he's a big brother, he's the one who is supposed to sleep at the age of the, of the bed. And the little brother sleeps at the side of the walls where the bed will be. So, why? Whenever we are making words, most words, for example, let's take a word like um, sec. Whenever we put s, e, k, the little brother always calls the, li the, the older brother to come and sleep next to him. Because he doesn't want to go at the end of the bed. So that's what you explain to them so that they are not going to be confused on which k is supposed to be used. We are in our third week. We come in and we are on sound e, e, e. Be careful. E and e for an apple, the first sound that we did. And this e, they must be different. So for this e, the action, you come up with the story and the action is as if you are breaking an egg. Eh, 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 eh. So you come up with your own story, you show them the sound A, eh, you give them the worksheets for a sound A eh, and the action A. Eh. Next, we go to the next sound, which is <sighs> Don't say he. Because already you have put something here. So it's <laughs> as if you are running out of breath. So the action for this sound is <sighs> as if you are running out of breath. We go to the next sound of in this group, which is <laughs> you come up with your own story and this is the action. This is the sound, then the action is as if a rolling dog, a roll, rolling dog, that's the action. Second from last is our sound. You come up with your own story. The action is rubbing your tummy as if you are full. You are eating something that was yummy and now you are mm, that's our action and the last one is d, d, d. you tell them a story and the action is d, 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 d for hitting the drum that's the action d, d, d. I'm going to come when we are going to be teaching. B. I'm going to come back and tell you how you can differentiate b 
and when you are writing because most kids they normally confuse those actions so that's it for group two that's it for episode two the second group of all sounds and after this after these words there are quite a lot of words that you can now make from this um from this group so this is it for this um group of words the second episode these are the sounds that you're going to be doing and in our next episode episode three don't forget to check episode three as soon as it's on turn on the notification bell so that you see it on episode three i'm going to come and share with you the word the group of sounds that we'll be doing in episode three and i'm going to share with you the words that your learners will be able to be re reading from the episode two so thank you so much guys for checking in i hope um i'm making sense and i hope you are going to find this quite useful thank you so much until the next video bye